The search for Jerrica Banks and her two young daughters led to an Amber Alert Saturday, a week after they disappeared. You know, I've talked to her sisters and we all say the same thing. It's not like her just to take off and not let us know where she's going. The pleas, the searches were in vain. They were already dead, their bodies hidden for eight days inside a garage. Police found them Sunday, partially burned, intertwined in a pile. Prosecutors say Arzell Ivory, Jerrica's ex-boyfriend and the father of five-year-old Zania, made a chilling confession. According to the criminal complaint, he and Jerrica argued over the recent death of their infant son at her north side apartment. He slammed her head into a wall and, quote, he stated he strangled Ms. Banks with both hands. Ivory told police he didn't want the children to live in a world without their mother, so he decided to kill them, too, going into their bedroom as they slept. Quote, he said he kissed Zania and told her that daddy loves you, and then told her that her mother wanted her in heaven with her. The defendant then said he used his bare hands to strangle her. He told police he next killed four-year-old Kamaria the same way. Ivory told police after killing them, he wrapped the bodies in an air mattress and dragged them outside to his car where he drove off. Police said Ivory dumped the bodies at a garage where he used to live, set them on fire and got out of town. According to the complaint, Ivory explained to detectives, quote, it was his family that he brought his kids into this world and that he can take them out if he wanted. Nick, joining us again now, this is a gruesome criminal complaint. Have you spoken with Jerrica's family today? Well, I talked to her brother today. He said they're all still trying to process all of this, as you might imagine. He did tell me that he used to be strongly opposed to the death penalty, but now he says he feels differently. Ivory remains jailed in Memphis right now, awaiting extradition to Wisconsin to face three counts of first-degree intentional homicide. Nick Bohr reporting live. Thank you.